Hello everyone. We have a 40 year old man who come to you because of two week history of fatigue, lower extremity edema and dark urine. Well, he has ed- symmetrical edema of both lower extremities. Serum creatinine level is 1.1 mg per cent. Urine analysis shows four plus protein urea and microhematuria. An electron bi- biopsy, electron microscopy biopsy shows kidney dense deposit within glomerular basement membrane. Immunofluorescence microscopy is positive for C3 but not for immunoglobulin, only for complement, not for immunoglobulins. Most likely pathophysiological mechanism that explains this patient condition is well. The right answer is persistent activation of the alternate complement pathway. This patient with nephrotic range of protein urea, how how can we say it's a four plus protein urea, hematuria, microhematuria, and this most likely has membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis. Well, dense intramembranous deposition point to be noted. It's intramembranous. That stain for C3 is a characteristic microscopic finding of MPG type 2, also called as dense deposit disease. Well, this we will never understand unless we know the normal histology. This is the epithelial cell of the glomerulus. This is the glomerular basement membrane, and this is the endothelium. Endothelium, capillary endothelium. This is the capillary lumen. CL stands for capillary lumen where the blood is flowing. This is epithelial cell. This is the foot process or podocyte. Now, in dense deposit disease. There is deposition of complement in the basement membrane, and that's why we call it as dense deposit disease in the basement membrane is there. So, kidney biopsy shows dense deposit within the glomerular basement membrane. Immunofluorescence microscopy is positive for complement, but not for immunoglobulin. That means whatever these are deposited are there. These are complements. Okay, the stain will complement not with immunoglobulins. Now you can see lovely picture, beautiful picture. This the normal glomerular capillaries. You can see this the basement membrane. Now you can see dense deposition occurs in the basement membrane, and that is again actual electron microscopy picture. This we are getting is. So I hope you are clear about dense deposit disease. Look into single frame. Okay, single frame. This is normal. This is a picture, and this is the actual electron microscopy. I think this is a better one. Yeah, you can see a large picture, and large picture, and the enlarged picture. Well. Immunofluorescence. Just see beautiful immunofluorescence picture. Dense deposit disease. You can, f- okay, in the basement membrane. It is. This is unique among the glomeropathies because it is caused by IgG antibodies, termed as C3 nephritic factor, directed against C3 convertase of alternate complement pathway. So it is IgG which is activating the alternate cup pathway. These body antibody react with C3 convertase lead to persistent complement activation and kidney damage. Point to be noted: the C3 nephritic factor is IgG antibodies, and it is this IgG antibody which is activating the alternate pathway, and that's why the, there is always. Persistent complement activation and which can lead to kidney damage, as discussed in the previous slide. 
let me show you the uh, of well this uh, uh, complete pathway of the all complement but as the question is relevant to only alternate pathway i'll focus on that only to so let me show you complete alternate pathway okay just see so we have a usually microbial activation of alternate pathway virus fungi liposaccharide but anyway c3 is c3b then we have factor b factor 8 and they make c3 small b capital b b this is so called c3 convertase and this get converted into uh, c3 b b b c3 b this is c5 convertase and finally they are involved in finally they are all involved in membrane attack complex so definitely i am not going to teach the entire complement pathway but i give you idea in alternate pathway start with c3 complement and finally we get c5b9 which is membrane attack complex i can show you one more picture same picture well so now we understood this uh, alternate pathway is activated by indian deposit disease and i told you uh, i gave you short brief outline of alternate pathway also let's look into other option anti gbm antibody this is seen in good pasture syndrome now i have a very simple question for you in good pasture syndrome two main organ are involved main of course there are many other thing can happen which are the two main organ involved you write down the answer answer lungs which can lead to hemoptysis kidneys which can lead to renal failure well now look into this beautiful immunofluorescence anti gbm linear deposition immune complex you get granular which we get in hinoxnolin purpura and sle again i give you bigger picture look linear deposition look this is granular deposition and this is seen in immune complex and this is seen in direct antibody binding anti gbm and immune complex disease like hinoxnolin and sle option b circulating immune complex is a wrong answer this we see in glomerulonephritis call immune complex like sle streptococcal i show you the immunofluorescence in the previous slides cell mediated may be important in idiopathic crescentic glomerulonephritis non immune that we see in uh, like diabetic nephropathy and hypertensive nephropathy so this in this there is no immune phenomena golden line to remember mpg type 2 so also known as dense deposit disease dense deposit disease is a unique glomerulopathy that is caused by persistent activation of alternate complement pathway well i hope you like the session just to inform you we have following courses for you smart medicine There are 350 hours of pre-recorded video lecture of whole internal medicine. It includes all super specialty and allied subject, covering A to Z, including basic concept about every topic. Second, we have tests and discussion. There are more than thousand question which, with discussion of the questions, sample question and discussion you saw in this session. now third thing is medicine simplified which is a textbook of medicine harrison is the ultimate book to read medicine but it is too vast reading one page of harrison you need half an hour to understand you need two hours but you need only two minute to forget what was written in that page then what is the solution we have medicine simplified it's a textbook of medicine but so called mini harrison it's a summary of what you need to read from harrison the book is available in amazon also now these three things are more than enough for your 
MD, DNB Medicine and Family Medicine Final Exam Preparation, Need SS Exam Preparation. You don't need to read any other book. These three are complete in all the aspects. For more detail, you can contact at this number. It's a mobile ad, as well as WhatsApp. And this is my personal email ID. Anybody want to reach to me, you can contact me at this email ID. Thank you very much.